Dear Muslims, we all are aware of the painful demise of one of the giant trees, one of the iconic scholars of our Ummah, one of the, the iconic scholar of this Ummah, this generation. His name is Dr. Yusuf al Qardaw. He was one of the, he was a president of the, all the ulama, the Muslim scholars in the whole world. He, he passed away two weeks ago. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. May Allah have mercy on his soul. May Allah grant him genital kardaus. Dear Muslims, the loss of a scholar, when I say scholar, the Islamic scholar, like this Dr. Yusuf al Qardawi, the loss of a scholar is a time of reflection. It's a time of reflection and it is a time of introspection. It is our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his authentic hadith from 1444 years ago. He said, Allah doesn't take away knowledge but snatching it from the chest of the people. That's what Rasul said. Allah is not going to take all the knowledge and all those who are educated and go and just grab it and snatch it from their heart. Rasul continued. But Allah takes away knowledge by taking away his scholars. Anytime we hear that one ali, it can be from the east of the world or the west of the world, we have, it's, it's a time of reflection. We have to sit down and think that indeed what Rasul says in this hadith, it is the time is coming. Because Allah took one scholar. This is a man that dedicated all his entire life seeking the knowledge. And then he propagated Islam all over the world. And then he published a book. Let me continue the hadith. But take away knowledge by taking away the scholars. So that when he leaves, no learned person, people turn to ignorance as their leader as, as or as their imam. Then they asked them to deliver the fatwa, so they will give religious judgment without knowledge. Thus, they are led astray and lead others astray. <clears throat> this is a Sheikh, a Dr. Yusuf Qardawi that passed away, that I'm referring to right now. He was a scholar, and he published a book called, one of the best fiqh book today we have on our hand, is called Al-Halal Wal-Haram Fil Islam. He published this book, and when this, that time, I we were in school in Saudi at the time, at the Islamic University, and the, the president of our university, uh, you know, it was uh, Sheikh Abdulaziz Boudinaz, maybe most of you often hear about him, then later he moved to Riyadh, and he was the Mufti for the whole Saudi. So the Mufti, he was blind, but he made people to read this book to him, from the beginning to the end. After he, he read the book, he said that he has eight points that he had problem with, with Dr. Qadawi. So uh, he said that based on that, in my country, I'm not going to give permission for, you know, to publish, to, for people to be sent by this book, or sell this book in my country. So he wrote a letter to Yusuf Qadawi, and Yusuf Qadawi said, said Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Sheikh uh, the Mufti, I really I have a big respect for you. If people could change their opinion, Based on the respect, Wallahi, I will be the first person that will change my opinion. I will take whatever opinion you have. But check, this is not the first time. It's starting from the Sahaba. They have a misunderstanding of some stuff. It's not like somebody say, oh, don't pray for daily prayer. Like some crazy people going on the social media right now, tell you, say, oh, you can pray only two salat, Maghrib and uh, Fajr. Uh, Fajr. Are you out of your mind? That is the same. But for this particular issue, this is a small, small issue, we have a misunderstanding. So therefore, I can't leave my own because this is my own ishtihad. This is the effort that I did. So that doesn't mean I should leave what I learned, I believe in, because of you. But I have a respect for you. So Chef Budibas told him, please come forward. <coughs> Sugar. So come forward this year and perform the hajj with us. But unfortunately, Chef Budibas passed away before the hajj time. So Yusuf Qardawi, he flew for because he 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 actually he sought he seek uh, uh, asylum 
He's an Egyptian by national, but he was in Qatar where he was living. So he flew from Qatar, he came to uh, Riyadh, and he was in the first supper to pray on uh, uh, Shaq bin Baz. So what we're trying to say, when Yusuf Qadawi came to Saudi, he realized that the book is all the bookstores everywhere, people are selling it. So what we, this is how the real scholar is supposed to be. Instead of we fighting each other, oh yeah, I'm praying to this masjid. I'm praying the masjid, uh, Quran or Sunnah. So I don't deal with somebody who is in sister Or the person in the sister oh, I can't pray. I don't deal with this person who pray in uh, Fulham Mosque. And another person say, oh, I can't pray in Maria Mosque. Come on, what are you talking about? If you, I mean, seven days, in the late seven days, when I went to school in Saudi, I was very young. This is the Rasul Masjid, Masjid Nabawi is here. And stone throw, you could see Masjid Usman ibn Affan. You could see Masjid uh, uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib. There were a lot of Masjid over there. It doesn't matter. The idea we all worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's the battle line. So if somebody, if this is an Ali, this big scholar like this man that we lost two weeks ago, the demise of this Ali is a loss for the, uh, of, uh, the Islamic notion, the Muslim nation. So the Muslims should interact with each other. Whatever ill we have in our society, the Imams in all these masses, the soldiers say that we have a problem. We have a variety of problems. All we hear, there is a dance, particularly in Philadelphia. Our city is an is a, is a avenue of all the dancing. Any occasion they will call. So what we supposed to do, instead of being worried about Chef Hassan, Chef this, Chef that, I don't want to call the other chef in the Imam's name. Which, that's not supposed to be our focus. Our focus is supposed to be what? What is the problem that we have in our society? What is the problem? People are divorces everywhere. That's the problem. Our new immigrant, how to deal with it? We, we, we use this mustard as an avenue to help them. Our children, people sending their children from different communities in the same Philadelphia, they send them five, six years old, they were send them to Egypt to memorize the whole Quran. That's supposed to be our worry. Our worry is supposed to be how to put the Islam in the Islam, in the, the brain, in the head of our children. Not to be fighting for petty, petty issues. We now just want to get rid of this one. That's, that's our worry. I don't have to mention all. We have millions of problems that we face. We just want to deal with. If all these scholars, Starting from Adam alayhi salam to Ibrahim, like I say in my kutba, to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam, all these good people, down to the al Khulafa or Rashidun, all of them they pass away. What we supposed to do? Their legacy, we supposed to follow their legacy. We supposed to do exactly what they did. If you see us here today, we are here, we, 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 we have a message. The congregation, look at the message, is full to the capacity. Because of what? Our parents, our forefathers, they put in our head that we are Muslim. You go east, you go west, wherever you go, it's going to be a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, we don't even drink alcohol, it's not even corrupt too much in our community. But Alhamdulillah, we have some, you know, good one, positive one, and we have a negative one. So, but let's build on, on the positive one. The negative one we should deal with is not only the Imam responsibility, it's a community leader. Our fathers, our elders, our mothers, I will even the very children, you can organize yourself. Say no to division. Say no to problem in this kind of small community. This is the country, it's not a Muslim country. This is a country that we are here, we know very well, we are just a minority. But if we don't get along, how will we resolve our problems? That's all I have to say for this football uh, <clears throat> for today. Allahumma inni da'in aminu. اللهم لا تدعنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فريته ولا دينا إلا قديته اللهم أغفر لنا ولإقواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم إباد الله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا لتسليما وقوموا إلى صلاتكم يرحمكم الله